path here with your beginner's gun guide. I'm here in the smelly, musty town of Ansberg. Here at Fritz's stop. Fritz is shop. Sorry about that. And we're going to discuss well, some of the beginner's it's guns, while, do's and don'ts what were to you do looking for, for Red Dead Online. Let's go in here right away. First thing you're going to get is your regular cattleman gun. As you can see here, I'm going to pull this up. The cattleman gun is going to be the first gun you get for nice free. You can buy a second. Well done. You can buy a second Colt action. It's actually the Colt Army Revolver. It was made the variant was made in the like beginning to middle 1880s. Um, it costs fifty dollars to get a new gun. It holds six rounds. It does forty-two damage, seventy-five fire rate, sixty-seven accuracy, fifty range, and has a sixty-seven on the reload. This gun here will probably be your go-to revolver, your sidearm, throughout most of the game until you hit probably level nine or so, which we'll get to that gun in a little bit. You can do various things to this gun. I'll pull out my uh, my variant here. This is the original that I had. Ah, I kind of tricked it out. I don't use it very much anymore. I love to see that. The stats that I give you guys are stock stats that come with the gun, so they do not reflect on anything that you do to the gun outside of your components. If any part of this you weapon is into your like, lengthen the barrel. It right out. Maybe the gives it more accuracy. Anything really. Make sure you rifle your gun, because then that helps too with the range. The difference between normal guns that you buy and guns what we're about to talk about, the next gun that you can get, is going to be... Let me find it here. Sorry about that. I had this all. There we go. The High Roller Revolver. For some reason, the game glitches out when you go to press on it the first time. There we go. Let's pull it up. Kept that weapon looking as the high nice roller revolver as the day you, you get from the fence. Well I can't quite remember how much it was. Uh, you can unlock it right out the gate when you go see the fence. Uh, it's a level one gun. It holds six rounds. It is a variant of the double action revolver, which you unlock later on in the game. We'll get to in a little bit. Uh, it has the same stats as the double action revolver. The double action revolver you unlock at level 17. Um, they have the same town. stats have stock master. wise. Not sure You're dealing I the town safe, but I'm definitely 38 damage, has an 82 fire rate, 50 accuracy, 50 range, and 70 on the reload. The difference between the double action and the high roller is that the high roller gun has a short stock barrel not rifled you cannot rifle variant guns let me pull out my double revolver here this is my double action has an extended ah, barrel it's rifled and improved sights it deals about five percent more damage than the double action revolver does i highly recommend that you save your money and you do not buy the double action revolver you're better off on dual wielding the cattleman until you can reach level 9. But it's completely up to you. Like I said, the stats are the same until you can hook up your own uh, gun. And then the stats give it about pretty much anywhere between a 3 to 5% boost. Which brings me to the next weapon on our list at level 1. You get the carbine and the Evans repeater. Right now, uh, the week of this video is being published. Uh, update has just been made. There was a nice drip feed from uh, Rockstar. The Evans repeater is Let's on sale right now. Looking as nice as pound the for pound. If you're going to compare done. the Evans to the carbine, I truly believe that the Evans is a more better weapon. Uh, it costs you $300. It's a level 1 weapon. It uh, does 50 damage. Has a 62 fire rate. Does 74 accuracy. Has a 65 range. And 62 reload. 
It holds 26 rounds. Okay. Now the you difference between the that firearms here. and the carbine ah, carbine repeater, which is basically the first repeater that you get. The carbine repeater is $90. It holds 7 rounds. It does 60 damage, 53 fire rate, 73 accuracy, 65 range, and 73 reload. If you compare the two stats the carbine does have better stats and damage but when it comes down to it most people with, in this with the ammo capacity that survive. you're carrying with the evans i, like I would go with the evans personally i would go with this gun before any as other nice other as the day you all it. right well done that brings us to the next gun pump action shotgun this is a gun that I carry on me constantly. Ah, you have kept there is a variant of it. I love see here. To see that. There's a trader variant. The difference between the trader variant and my variant is that the rifle barrel. That is the big difference. Whenever you do a variant gun uh, in the game, it will have less stat ability than if you were to make your own. So it doesn't say in the stat bars, but I do have People a five percent increase save up their money to buy in damage and range with the food. rifle barrel than they I do with the variant. Like. Pump action shotgun holds five rounds. You unlock it at level five. It holds five rounds. It's two hundred and sixty-six dollars. It does sixty-one damage. Has a forty-seven fire rate, thirty-seven accuracy, thirty-five range, and sixty on the reload. To me, pound for pound, this is probably the best shotgun. I a pretty much use them all except for one of the industry. shotguns we're going to go Look over here in a second. Ask um, it, I, I don't know. It's my one of my favorite guns in my top five. I have it on my horse constantly. So I recommend that you get the pump action. Um, it's a very, very durable, reliable gun. Uh, let's see. It was made in the late 1890s, so it's... Barely when this variant of this gun came out, it was around the time this game, uh, the year of the game. The conditions so in that mine cool. are getting worse by the year. If nobody wants to Action shotgun. Them, next next gun on the list. We're going to go with the bolt action rifle. Bolt action rifle, you unlock at level 7. It is a rifle You've class. That weapon looking it as is nice $216. Well it holds 5 rounds. Does 72 damage, has a 37 fire rate, 82 accuracy, 75 range, and 55 on the reload. If you're a new player and you're looking to hunt and make sure that you're getting that three-star animal every single time, this is the beginning hunting rifle that I recommend that you get. Always aim for the head. It's a clean shot. All the Pretty accurate. Are regularly maintained Very routine. reliable. It's also good in PvP if you're just starting out. Um, I highly recommend that this is one of the top guns that you buy out of all of them. Again, it's clearly up to you, player preference. I have, as you can see on my list, I have all the guns. I just bought them all. But if I had someone to tell me, hey, what guns to buy first and what guns not to buy, I probably would have saved a little bit of extra money, which is why I'm making this video for you today. So the next gun on our list People around here save is up their going money to be to buy ammunition instead of food. the Varmint they Rifle. Know what they like. This is probably one of the ah, other go-to rifles to add to your list. I there is a variant of this that, that you can get from the Naturalist. That's what it looks like. Again, variant weapons do not have rifled barrels. You cannot customize them to your own. They are already customized. But if you make your own, then hey, cool. Uh, the, the Varmint Rifle, uh, you unlock at rank 8. It is $72, which is a good buy. It holds 14 rounds, gun does 40 damage, a has a 65 fire rate, 80 anyone. accuracy, 65 range, and 68 on the reload. This is the gun here you're going to want to get, um, not only for when, if and when you ever get the Naturalist roll to tranquilize animals, but... It helps to catch small animals, squirrels, rabbits, things like that. Uh, animals that you would most likely destroy the pelt of. 
if you used a bigger gun. Some so this is the gun right here that you're going to want to get to get, you know, the birds, the, the squirrels, the skunks, the rabbits, things like that. Not so much the foxes. Foxes are kind of tough. But this varmint gun right here is really, it pays for itself later on down the line. I highly recommend you get it. I know, sounds weird. Highly recommending a fucking 22, but that's what it is. Um, yeah, good, Once good weapon to have. The here, I knew this is a weapon that I have on my horse all the time, but then again, I'm using it just mostly to take samples for uh, Crazy Harriet. So that takes us to the next weapon on our list, which is going to be another handgun. This is a gun that I had um, most mostly through the game. As soon as I could buy it, I mean, I grabbed it, and that's the Showfield Revolver. The Schofield Revolver You've kept that was made as in nice the, as the day 1860s well in the latter part of the Civil War for the Union Cavalry soldiers. It is a cavalry gun. It was specifically made for horseback, easy reload, things like that. Uh, the Schofield Revolver, uh, you unlock at rank 9, it is $192. It holds 6 rounds. It does 46 damage. 70 fire rate, has 70 on the accuracy, 50 on the range, and 64 on the reload. When and if you hit level 9 or, or above it, uh, it's a good gun to have in your locker. Just, I mean, it's one of my top favorite guns. I, I don't use it that much anymore, only because of what I'm setting up and the way I play right now. But I, I highly recommend that uh, you get and you use this for uh, if you're a new beginner player or just starting out. High um, if gun they do release the M1899 uh, for the next game pass, this would probably be the gun that I match with it because I like to use a revolver and pistol combo. Um, they do have a variant of it. They have a Bounty Hunter variant of it. This is the variant. Like I said before, all variants to guns do not have rifled barrels, so it will not perform for you. Maybe not as good as you would expect. It, it, it's very subtle, the difference. You won't notice it at first, but once you start playing this game more and more and you start shooting the guns, um, you start to notice the difference. Um, I had mine originally all tricked out, but then I went basic bitch, and that's basically what my gun looks like right now. Uh, it's one of my top revolvers, so um, if I had to pick my top three revolvers, it would probably be um, the Navy, you the Schofield, and then the Lamat. So somewhere you. around there. Navy is my favorite. We'll get to that in a, in a future video. So that's the Schofield. Next weapon on our list will be the bow. Now you'll have a chance to buy... Not on the list. You have a chance to buy the regular bow or the improved bow. I'm going to pull out the improved bow just to show you. The difference between the improved bow and the regular bow is that you can customize the improved bow. That's it. Other than that, the regular bow, believe it or not, does more damage, has more accurate than the improved bow. They have different variants of this. And the native variant, I was rocking that for the longest time when I had this. But then I did a, a study of my own, and I, I tested out both bows. Question you may have. I have to say that the regular bow does better than the improved bow. So if you're going to, it's up to you again. If you want to pick a bow and you want to customize it out, hey, cool. Get, get this one. But I use the regular bow. It's more accurate, more powerful. Um, oh, let me do the stats. I apologize for that. You unlock the bows at level 10. Uh, it's $124. You know, you only hold one arrow at a time unless, you know, you're a Robin Hood and you're able to figure out some kind of glitch and you can shoot three arrows at a time or whatever. It does 46 damage, has a 70 fire rate, 70 on the accuracy, 50 on the range, and 64 on the reload. Um, again, the regular bow... I, I don't leave home without it. It is my go-to. If you watch some of my videos, then you Once know that that's... The here, I knew that's the main weapon that I go to. All right, next weapon on the list. 
I don't have it, so we're gonna go check it out in the catalog here. Let me know. It is the repeating like. shotgun. Let's go to it here. The repeating shotgun. There we go. You unlock it at level 11. As you can see, it's $334. It holds six shots. It does 61 damage. 50 on the fire rate, 34 in the accuracy, 35 on the range, 63 on the reload. Um, I'm not too keen this on this gun. Uh, one of my teammates had it, I like and to tools, he liked stupid. it, but I just, um, I, once I started with the pump, I really didn't go further than that. So the repeating shotgun, uh, I don't use it, never have. Uh, don't recommend that you spend and waste your money on it, especially because it's $434. There's other weapons that you could be spending your money on. And, uh, yeah. For more bang for your I buck, just go with the pump action. Save your life but many it's up to you, over. your money, that do what you what want. Alright. Close this out. It's going to bring us to our right. next weapon. Take your time this weapon yourself. here... It's another one of my weapons that I always have on me or near me at all times. Best all-around rifle in the game, as far as I'm concerned. Based off ah, you have kept the, the 1870s Henry. I love this is to see the that. Lancaster. They have a variant of it. Collector variant, as you can see there. I don't really dig that. Again, no rifled barrel, so I made my own. Check the stats. The Lancaster Repeater, you unlock at level 12. It is $243. It's probably one of the best buys in the game. It holds 14 rounds. It does 55 damage. It has a 59 fire rate, 76 accuracy, sure 65 range, and 70 on the reload. It is pound for pound, by far, the most balanced rifle you could get in this game. I'm telling you right now. I, I It is the bomb. I use it everywhere I go, especially on uh, Moonshiner missions. Comes in very handy. Does a lot of work. Holds a lot of rounds. Very accurate. I know Can't say enough about this gun. One of my favorite guns out. in the game. Feel free to a ask cast to repeater. I, I truly, truly recommend that you get this. Takes us to our next gun. The Rolling Block. Only block rifle. You've kept that weapon looking as it nice is a sniper as rifle. The day you, it. you unlock well it at done. level 13. It is $411. It holds one round in the chamber. It does 85 damage, has a 27 fire rate, 85 accuracy, 80 on the range, and it's a 38 on the reload. Now, what you lack in ammo capacity and reload speed. You get with accuracy and punch. There are some desperate this gun here is you the one I to go to. Um, later on down the line, you're going to be looking at probably the Carcano. That's the most popular sniper rifle. Everybody uses it. I use the Rolling Rock, Rolling Blocks. Apologies for one reason, and that's because it has a little bit more range than the Carcano. Um, so I can get a little bit further out than the Carcano, and I can hit little bit further and that's the only reason why I use this gun it's preferably gun. We'll save your life gun that I use only over. when it comes to that PvP what I, aim to provide. I, I don't know that's basically all I can really say about it I use it for PvP that's it um, if you're looking to get into more PvP and shoot long range and work on your sniper game then this is the gun to get probably back it up with the uh, bolt action and you're pretty much money as far as the beginning sniper goes people need their All guns right. around here i do my best to make sure they have guns they can rely on we talked about the double action gun um we'll pull that back up again just so i could uh give you guys the stats on that double action revolver Ah, you unlock it you at level 17. Perfectly it's 127 dollars it holds six that. rounds it does 38 damage, 82 fire rate, 50 accuracy, 
50 range and 70 on the reload again just like the high roller it is the highest shooting revolver and high and fastest reloading revolver out of all the revolvers but it's also the least many times powerful over. and what the I least accurate this gun would go good with paint it black and gunslinger's choice that's basically what i use it with i use this gun with the semi-auto pistol which you're going to get to later on down the line probably in the next video we'll discuss that gun and uh yeah i like to use it every now and then when i'm feeling frisky not a lot of people use it, but hey, you know, outside the box, clearly up to you. Feel free to inspect the craftsmanship. Why, thank you, Fritz. That's going to take us to our next gun, which is one of my personal all-time faves in real life and in this game. Uh, I don't use it too much anymore. They call it the Litchfield Repeater, but it's basically based on the 1860s Henry. As nice as the, day you bought the Litchfield it. has, uh, you unlock it at level 18. It is $348. It holds 16 rounds. It does 65 damage. Apologies about that. 65 damage. Has a fire rate of 60. Oh, no, I, that's the wrong one. I apologize. Most 65 damage. Are just trying to fire rate of 50. I like to Accuracy of 68. To I apologize for that, guys. Has the range of 65 and the reload speed of 65. What it lacks in reload speed and accuracy, it, you know, it punches. So this gun is very powerful. Um, has slow fire rate. I was using it when I first started out in PvP and stuff, but once once I got really into the Lancaster, Please, take um, your time. there was no substitute. But I like this gun. I like the way it looks. It does hit. You get good with it. Player preference. It's up to you. It is a nice gun to have in your in your stable there, in your locker. So, um, yeah, that being said, let's move on to the final and last gun of this video. I haven't bought one yet. Maybe we'll buy one right now. And that is the sawed-off shotgun. Sawed-off shotgun. You unlock the sawed-off shotgun at level 19. Nothing makes a statement like a shotgun. <laughs> it holds two rounds. It's $111. It does 65 damage. Has a 60 fire rate 25 accuracy 30 range and 50 on the reload uh, this gun right here is a good gun to have if you're uh, like a secondary weapon um, a lot of players in pvp use it uh, you know they dual wield it one of my buddies dank he uses this mostly when we're encountering uh, grifters and stuff like that uh, pretty decent shotgun i was actually going to buy one uh, soon, but you know, just the way I play, I don't really use them that much. The only shotgun I really use is that pump action, but um, maybe I should buy one. Screw it, we'll buy one. I love the homegrown American. Take a look at it here. This. The they have a variant of it. It's a moonshiner variant. That's what it looks like. Pretty cool, right? Put some components on there. We'll add the iron sight. Put a wide grain stock on there. Straight grain, wide grain. We we'll like that straight grain. Huh? That straight grain on there. No wrap. I don't need no wrap. Styles, metals. You, you can always go in here and change the metals. It always sure. costs gold, though, as you can see. Fancy amount. I'll probably do that later on. Gravings in the handle or in the gun itself. As you can see, there's different styles. Carvings in the handle. All full customized, varnish, things like that. So, yeah. We're going to end the video here. Next video will be next Tuesday where we talk about 
levels 21 through 50, which will take us all the way to the end of the guns here. Uh, 21 through 50, we'll work on the rest of the guns. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Look for me to do Red Dead Online tomorrow at 10 a.m. here on Twitch. Replay goes up on YouTube. Know, so Thanks for joining us. Items. It's hard hope everybody has a good week.